that doesn't change the fact that the number three overall pick has been less productive than half the corners taken in his draft that were drafted after the third round. So I think that by calling him a bust is a little bit too early. Corner at three was always a reach. You wrote a Jeff Akuta article. Mm -hmm. All right, I read it. I didn't hate it, but I, I hated I hated parts of it. Okay. <laughs> so let's start with this. I think he's a bust. Really? Uh, I'll tell you why. Okay. Ten games played in two seasons, mm -hmm. not ideal. Uh, in the ten games he's played, he's never shown anything special outside of the game in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, so even prior to injury, he wasn't showing anything special. Now, again, like in your article, coached by Matt Patricia. My counter would be Gus Bradley coach Jalen Ramsey. Gus Bradley has one of the worst coaching records in NFL history. Okay. Um, I, again, Patricia is an anomaly considering how devastating he was to a locker room. But my point is, Corey, we're two years in. You can be a bust for a multitude of reasons. Jeff Okuda can still be a pro bowler. That is very possible. But he hasn't been available. He hasn't played well when he's been available. Mm -hmm. Last year, in the preseason, he struggled. And then in game one, struggled and before he tore his Achilles. Now, does that mean he's going to suck for the rest of his career? No. Look, I mean, I'm one of the people that are saying, I, I hope he comes back and has a, a full recovery and has a good season. It's good for the okay. Lions. But that doesn't change the fact that the number three overall pick has been less productive than half the corners taken in his draft that were drafted after the third round. Kills me. All right, I got a question. Yeah. First two years in the league, did you think Matthew Stafford was a bust? Uh, no. Because Matthew Stafford played. But he played. But he played 13 games over two but, seasons but and he, had 22 played, picks. But when he just, uh, I used Joe Burrow for that argument. Joe Burrow, before he tore his ACL, played seven games and looked damn good. Matthew Stafford looked damn good and much better than what we'd seen okay. from other quarterbacks. So my issue with the CUDA is it's not so much just the games played only. It's what you did in those games. I think it's because uh, I could live with it. If he was a damn good corner, yeah. I wouldn't be calling him a bust. If he played locked, not locked down, but let's say like really good top 12, top 14 level corner, uh, corner play mm -hmm. when he was available, I'd be saying, guys, look, this is a guy that just needs to get healthy. If he's healthy, he's going to be a damn problem in the league. But unfortunately, we haven't had that. Um, I think, well, there are, there are a couple things operating for, for one. I don't think that Jeff Okuda should have ever been taken third overall. I mean, so let's get that out the way. It's not his fault where he was drafted at. There was only only people, I think, that were thinking Jeff Okuda was the number three overall draft pick was Bob Quinn and maybe Matt Patricia. Because, you know, you hear rumors that Matt Patricia may have not been all the way on board with that or whatnot. But that's neither here nor there. J Look, the guy's only played I get ten, it. He's only played ten games. Now, granted, he... All the 2020 rookies of that class, they didn't have a draft. They didn't have a training camp. They all had the virtual camp. You add the virtual camp on top of having a quote-unquote defensive guru as your head coach. The guy admittedly said that he did not know what his expectations of him were in his rookie season. He was already doomed for failure right there. Then, then next year, okay, you're, you're, you're hearing him say the great things like, oh, he's learning more about – what's expected of him under Aaron Glenn. And then, boom, in week one, he's out for the season with an Achilles injury. So I think that by calling him a bust is a little bit too early. I think if you want to say that the return on the investment for the Lions has not been there, that's very fair to say. He has because because he has not been on the field. But I think that if he's going to call him a bust, I would say you need a little bit more data to call him a bust. Let's say he goes out and he's gone, by, gone for the season by – Let's say week three. Then you can say, okay, you know what? The pick was a bust. I think the pick was a bust no matter what. He still has an opportunity to become a good player in the NFL. That is a guarantee. He can still become a good player if he's healthy. Mm -hmm. Having said that, the pick still is a bust. And How? Take the phone. Okay. I'm on the left. This is a friend of mine that screenshotted this. Mm -hmm. Our conversation, April 23rd, 2020. This is our conversation about Jeff right. Okuda, and I've said the same thing since. If he's not Deion Sanders or Champ Bailey at three, 
he's a bust. But that's but that's the thing about it. I I, I agree with that. Yeah. When you're taking a cornerback overall, you're saying this guy's going to be Deion Sanders. You're saying he's going to be a Jalen Ramsey. You're saying he's going to be a Patrick Peterson. You're saying he's going to be one of those guys. In my opinion, I never thought that he was going to be one of those guys. Did I think that he was a top ten? Draft pick? Absolutely. I think that it was foolish. He Bob was a though. coveted player. Yeah, he, he was a definitely a coveted player. So I'm not going to sit up and act like this guy was chopped liver. No. But I think that for the Lions, with the situation that he was coming into, everything that was going to be expected of him, I think that him being a number three overall pick, it was the wrong move. But he can't help where he was drafted. He that, can't that, he was... In his defense, I'm okay with. The pick itself, number three overall, it's already done and dusted. That yeah. thing, that is a disaster pick. I just Can he become a Pro Bowler twice in the next three years? That would be great. Would love to see it. And then, I, mean, I, I think it, I think he becomes a bust when his Lions tenure is is over, awesome, is, is over and you got nothing out of the pick. Like you got, like, let's look at Joey Harrington. Joey Harrington was a bust. Joey Harrington could have played what. Horrible his first couple of years, and then towards the end of, end of his Lions deal, he played significantly great, better or whatever. The pick would have been a bust. If Jeff Okuda turns into a Pro Bowler, All Pro by the time his rookie deal is over, then it would have been a bust. I think that's fair, but what I would say is, let me ask you a question: Would you rather miss on a quarterback at three or a corner? Oh, I would definitely rather uh, miss on a quarterback. On a def- corner? I, on a quarterback. A quarterback, yeah. yeah. So we're on the same page. So because that position is so important, mm-hmm. I, I don't knock teams that pick one, two, three, four, five overall take a quarterback unless they pull a Mitchell Trubisky and you trade up for him. But mm-hmm. that's a whole different conversation. Either you, you, he makes it or he doesn't. P- deciding what a quarterback is is one of the hardest decisions in football. Mm-hmm. A corner at three was always a reach. Ownership let the whole fan base down by allowing the people that they didn't believe in. That's really the bigger issue at hand is because you got guys that were pretty much going to get their walking papers at, su- at some yes. point that season. So what they should have done was not let them keep their jobs with such a pivotal pick because what happened, what you saw was they made a pick in Jeff Okuda based on the interest of what they felt would get them to keep their job as opposed to the best interest of the franchise. Because for me, and I'm not going revisionist history on this, I was never on the Tua bandwagon because of his injury in college. That Could injury you have for leveraged me put- Tua? Could you have leveraged Tua against Miami? Yes or no? Do you believe a competent GM yeah. that was in town? Let's say Brad Holmes. Yes. Yeah. If Brad Holmes was in town, you think the Lions are picking at three that year? I don't. No. I think they take five and eighteen for number three and a second round pick. But that's for, also you had incompetence in that front office. Well, that's my point because, uh, and I'm showing you those screenshots because of the frustration that built up. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of pent up frustration with the pick because if a fan base understands, hey, that team needs a quarterback. Your quarterback's contract is expiring in two years. He's a great trade piece. You can sit a quarterback for a year, whether it was Tua or Herbert. I don't care who you wanted. You could have sat one for a year, traded Stafford, and been on the same train except with a franchise quarterback moving forward.